Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at Beyond the Horizon. This is a review copy. Beyond the Horizon is a new implementation of sorts of Beyond the Sun, which was a game we really enjoyed. Yeah. We don't own it anymore, but now we own this and we're going to tell you all about this fun technology tree game. Beyond the Sun was called Tech Tree the Game and they have kept a lot of the things in it. Here is a brief overview. In this game, you're doing tech stuff. You're advancing on this tech tree of sorts to open up worker placement spaces because you're gonna have a worker, one worker, and you're gonna move that worker every time it's your turn to a new space. You're gonna have some basic spaces over here, and every time you put one of your little goblets, which are people, out here on these cards, you are gonna be opening up new cards and opening up new worker placement spots. That's only available to the people who have unlocked that card. You're gonna then do actions in a way that makes you get points, makes you come closer to finishing goals, because that is kind of the race of the game. The game is gonna end when you have, uh, depending on number of players, a number of tokens on the goals. You're trying to remove the tokens from these player boards so you can get different bonuses depending on the tracks that you move them on. You're trying to do stuff over here, you're trying to do move around settlers, settling these different villages, you can then or other player can move in with soldiers and fortify those villagers to make them better. The villagers are gonna get bonuses, you're gonna get victory points, and all of this you're doing to be the very best, like no one ever was in civilization, and get points in Beyond the Horizon. This game is based on Beyond the Sun, so if you are familiar with that game, you will recognize a lot of this. For example, this tech tree right here is exactly the same as, far can, as I can see. Uh, this board is changed, uh, like all the artwork is different and stuff, and this is quite different from what is before, but you will see that this is in itself the same core DNA as Beyond the Sun. You say that the artwork has changed, some would say it has gotten artwork. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Because we yes. love Beyond the Sun, we don't care about artwork, but it is a game where it's like, there is lines on it. Yeah. Like, there is, it's not blank, there are like, words and stuff, but I didn't go all out on the art department on that one. Yeah, I will say that it is like, and this is going to be a review, but it's also going to be a comparison. So if you don't know anything about Beyond the Sun, you might want to go and check out a video about that as well, because they're not going to go into deep into the details of this. But yeah, it's like, I would say it's, 80% the same game, maybe oh, yeah. something about that. Um, As always, all these percentages are just made up. <laughs> no, so, they're 100% real. Yes. <laughs> That's everything else. Let's talk a bit about the changes. Yeah, one of the main changes about this board is that the level 4 techs mm -hmm. are visible and set from the game's beginning, which I really enjoy because you, in Beyond the Sun, the, the person who like unlocked that mm -hmm. level four, uh, chose some, like had some options and then got to choose the final scoring. Mm -hmm. But here you can, from the very beginning, see, I like that scoring. It really matches with my ability or the other final goals and be like, I'm going for that. Yeah, and that also makes it so that it even more feels like a race game. Yes. You know, just not, you're not racing to get to choose it, you're racing to get to it, to, to be able to score it at the end of the game. On the player board, there's not going to be three tracks. As in Beyond the Sun, there's one track that gives you more income of people, one track that gives you more income of money, and one track now that is new that's going to give you buildings that you can build out here. It's the tiles that you place on top of tiles. And they're also going to give you unlocks of your special player power. Every player is going to have a card which is going to have four levels of power. It's going to be one you start with, one you unlock pretty early, one as an instant, pretty good instant bonus that you're going to get pretty far or late. And then if you go all the way to the top of the track, you're going to then score a, a basically a final scoring for it, which adds more like ways to go in the game, I would mm -hmm. say. Because like you had those two tracks, you, you wanted to do, to balance them a bit in the other game, depending on if you have other ways to get money or other ways to get people. Yes. But here you also want to like get this and you want to get stuff up here so you can get bonuses and points. And you're trying to find ways to get rid of these cubes uh, as in Beyond the Sun. But I enjoy this addition of the third track. 
I agree. The biggest change in this game compared to Beyond the Sun, it's what's happening over there. Mm -hmm. Because in what the, is happening over in, there? What is happening, what's over, happening there? over there? Uh, so this is an area that you can expand and you most likely will in this game. And instead of moving from these planets mm -hmm. and trying to have majority there, you are here trying to explore this. So if I, for example, have a movement, and uh, not like not like a movement, like but but like a move move yes. action. Move action. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna start a movement <laughs> yeah. to move these settlers yes, around. Yes, that's very very important to me. Uh, then, for example, I could move him. I don't. We don't have space to put out more tiles, but I can move here, and yes. then we can put out a new tile here, and I can see. Okay, if there's something that I want to interact with, mm -hmm. and you can also, if you are on a location with the required strength of that settler, I can choose if I have the action to do so. That is also a thing you have to acquire in yeah. itself to settle this it will mean that you get to um, free the cubes from here yeah. to upgrade your production and you also get uh, bonuses and points. points. I mean, you can also have like more than one, you don't have to have one that fits it. Yes. I think that you now demonstrated one of the weakest points yes. of the whole game, which are these tokens. Because you are placing these tokens, and I'm gonna try not to rant about this, but I don't know how this was the solution. You are placing these tokens, they can be settlers and 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 then soldiers, and you're moving these around, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do that like all the time. If you're not gonna go very in from the bottom and place them around, and we have a gaming table, mm -hmm. which means it's like a little bit of bounce. Yes. So every time I'm like going from the top, it flips the token. I can do it here as well. I'm I'm, I'm gonna move it, and I'm flipping the token. It's like it's and it's all about you have to be very specific. There is possibility, of course, to just do it very slowly, but with four people moving these around, you're gonna. Well, These are gonna fall off. I, I, I'm, I'm not hating it. I just because it heavily disliking. Yeah, because it, usually it's no problem, and if it falls off, mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, it, if it was a five or a six, I usually remember. That's no worries. But I just loved the old components where the cubes you could just flip them around and yes. that seems so much simpler mm -hmm. like you have this huge upgrade in artwork and components in general in this game if you like this style um but this seems like a downgrade from the uh, other game yeah i don't probably it's way cheaper to make these wooden components and have like 60 dice because they're dice they're like they're yeah plastic dice in yeah. the other game. You call it a cube because you never roll it. Mm -hmm. So is a die that's a cube you roll? Well, I that don't know. Like my, totally... That's my question for today. Let me know. Is a die just a cube you roll? So if you take <laughs> a cube and you roll it, does it become a die? What makes a die a die and a cube a cube? Mm, but uh, dice can be other shapes than cubes. Boom! Boom. Mm -hmm. But it's a cube. So... so you can still say, is a cube just a die you don't roll? A d6 then. Yeah. So is a cube just... Okay. A question for another day. Another day. Uh, another, another, we're going to make a podcast series. Yes. Is a cube a die? But what I wanted to tell you about this... Do it. Is that, that this feels similar but different from uh, Beyond the Sun. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is less mean player interaction um, in, in this part. Uh, but also that you have like... It's more about timing mm -hmm. because... You can you have freedom to do a lot of stuff here in Beyond the Sun. You had these planets. That was it. And and you're getting you're getting new planets when somebody takes the planet. So there's cards. With oh some yeah, yeah, them, but yeah. like locations yeah. is what I meant. Okay, sorry. but here you can like branch off. If you're over there, I can go somewhere else. Or if you're over there and trying to settle it. I could come in and fortify if that's important to me. Yeah, and, and you could do like some of those things in Beyond the Sun as well. But I feel like another change is the buildings that you can build on top of tiles. Yeah. You can use that also to build on top of something you think somebody wants to do. So that can be a main thing you want to do. Oh, that's true. Now, when you build there, you're going to, again, get to move a cube away, which is good. Get a bonus. And then if somebody else comes around and build the same building, which they can do, you can also get some points at the end. Yeah. So there's some like trying to get some interaction there. I would say like in a two-player game, it probably won't happen a lot. If somebody not build like a super good building that gives you a better thing you specifically need. But other than that, it's going to happen more in a multiplayer game. I also feel like it can happen that, except for the beginning when you have to move towards each other, it's very easy for me to just move this way and you to move that way mm -hmm. and have our own spaces. But 
I think it's better when you don't do that because then you can, oh, somebody is doing heavy on the settlers. I'm going to go fortify in these places to not get a bonuses, but I'm going to get the points. So there's many, I, I feel like this is dynamic and I enjoy it. And it's, it's, it's similar, but not the same. I think this game is very much alike to many video games with tech trees. And if you always wanted to do that in a board game, I think you are going to enjoy this. Obviously, if you like Beyond the Sun, you're going to look at this and you're going to probably know if you think this is an upgrade or a downgrade. I think it depends on what you enjoyed with Beyond the Sun. If you enjoyed it for not having artwork, uh, you will not like this. I think that most of the changes, some of them I'm like unsure or don't really know. But for example, I really like these changes. So look at the changes, you will see if you need to upgrade or whatever you want to call it. Or if you never wanted to get Beyond the Sun, I think this is going to be probably easier to find. Mm -hmm. I heard Beyond the Sun, it's way better with the expansion, but I'm also pretty sure that is out of print. So I don't think you can get it. Uh, it's a racing feeling game. Yeah. So if you enjoy that feeling of not like racing around the track, but oh, oh, I need to do, be efficient so that I get to do the things I need before the game ends. And this is also one of those where you feel like this game is going to last forever because of those goals. And then suddenly, boom, 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 it's done. Yeah. Because everybody's working towards it and you don't really feel it. And then boom, boom, boom. And you get to the end. Yeah. So I think we are going to do some final thoughts for this game. Before we do that, there is one thing I have to ask for you, which is... Do you like us? Do you think that we are okay? We do everything we can to be okay and more. And if you if you do like us, then you can subscribe. Yes. So if you haven't subscribed, does it mean you don't like us? Because that makes us sad. Yeah. We're all the way in Norway. It's cold. We don't have anything to live for except for getting subscribers. So please <laughs> subscribe to us before we cry. And now, some final thoughts for Beyond the Horizon. <laughs> that was kind of dark. We, we, we're, we're fine. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going blink to say... if you are here against your will. <laughs> we're like stuck in this cellar. We have to make read videos and we have to get like 20,000 subscribers or else we're never yeah, going to get Bob out. Yeah, Bob is keeping us here. Yes. Well, um, I was thinking you were going to say uh, we're outside of your house. <laughs> Oh, no. Subscribe now. But yes. we are far away we in are. Norway, so you can do, do whatever you want. If you don't live next door, then we're pretty close. That's true. Okay, final thoughts. Um, I like this. Yes. I, I really enjoy Beyond the Sun too, and for the same... Oh, two? Number two? Haha. <laughs> for the same reasons, because this thing, like the worker placement with one dude, like moving that around, I think it's fun. And But what makes this game is this, and I really think this is a clever mechanism or system because I really enjoy being like hmm okay these two these two technologies are together here okay I will make a strategy that revolves kind of around these two and sometimes I don't want this ability but I want to unlock this so therefore I'm going here and trying to and also if I see you going kind of up here to do something you might unlock something over there that I think is really cool but I'm over here doing stuff Am I then justifying like unlocking all of this to be able to do that action mm -hmm. like twice? Mm. Um, and also it feels really racy, uh, like you're racing for it because uh, if these two players can both do this now, if I am the person who flips this first, I will most likely get something good. So I want to be able to do it first and also I can choose what card that I benefit from having here. So um, I think this is really cool. I think this change, I, I enjoy that, but that part of the game is not why I play this game mm -hmm. in general. I think this <coughs> is the most exciting. I think the extra track is super cool. I think having these uh, different uh, player powers is nice, but what you're need to do in this game as I learned the hard way is trying to see what of these work together and also what's working with the final scoring at the end of the game so um yeah um, a lot of positive things about this game I like this I think I would say like this as on par with Beyond the mm -hmm. Sun for me I'm going to give this an 8 I think it's a great game I like this game. You said a lot of things, so I can just say, like, I agree with your things. I don't need to repeat those things. I think one of my favorite changes is these are face up. 
so you can plan for those. In Beyond the Sun, it was not like you were gonna, oh, I got something horrible, but as you said, if somebody else, if both two people were racing for the same one and you got there first, there could be this of, oh, I'm gonna take one that's great for me and horrible for you, yeah. which some might like. And, and But it's like in one of those games where it's so much of the game, I don't think I enjoy that. But yeah, I, this is is fine. I and this is like the meat and potatoes of this game and makes the puzzle interesting. So I'm gonna give it an eight as well. I really enjoyed it. And now let's do the paddle. Mm. Do the paddle. We should do a song like do the paddle. Are you ready? Okay. And a dance like a TikTok dance. The like paddle. the Mario dance. Yes. Do the Mario. Take your hands from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. No, do okay. the paddle. Oh, do the paddle. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. One. Two, three, boom! Double keeping all the way across the screen. I thought it screen. was hard because I called Beyond the Sun. Yes. You kind of did too. But now you kept But now this. I'm keeping it because I think it's fun. Yeah. Yes, I enjoy it. I like it. And that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you. Thank you so much. Been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye-bye.